Hello and welcome to Maths and Maths. We're doing Maths GCC Higher Paper 1 here, uh, starting with question 1 in this series. Tim, Jason and Peter share £60 in the ratio 3 to 2 to 5. So we've got Tim, Jason and Peter. So there's 3 to 2 to 5 parts, so the thing to do is add those up. 3 plus 2 plus 5 is 10. Remember, you add then you divide, and then you multiply. So 60, we're going to share into 10 parts to find out what one part is worth. So one part is worth six pounds. So we've added them up, and we've divided the total, and now we're going to multiply up that one part into each of them. So three times six is 18, two times six is 12, five times six is 30. And 18 plus 12 is 30, plus 30 is 60. So we know that we're correct. So just to go through that again, you add up all the parts. There are 10 parts. You divide that total by 10 to break it into 10 parts. So each part is worth six pounds. And then you multiply up three, two, five. You can also use this uh, bar model approach. Um, if you look at some other videos, and you could have three to two, um, we could have three, and then two, and then five. And if you put six in each of those, you'll see 18, 12, and 30. Okay, uh, to actually answer the question, how much does Jason get? Jason is the middle one, so that's 12. It's only two marks, I might have done a bit more work than necessary, but it's useful to explain the approach in a GCC high exam, first question, you probably want to be getting through that quite quickly. Okay, let's move on to question two. Dave, I'll call him D, is four years older than Colin. So put that into equation. So Colin plus four is Dave. So I'm putting Dave with a D, Colin with a C, Ruth with an R. Ruth is then three times as old as Dave. So I'm turning this all into equation. That's the wonder of maths, you can take these words and put them into uh, equations like that. The total of their three ages is 56. So C plus D plus R equals 56. So now we're going to combine those equations to work out Ruth's age. Right, I, if I've only got one total equation, one equation with the total, I only want one unknown. So I'm going to replace uh, the C, uh, so with actually the D with C plus 4. So I can replace so it's C plus, C plus 4. That's that one there. And now I'm going to replace the R with 3 times. Now I have to replace that D as well, C plus 4. And that's going to be 56. So I've got Colin's age, Dave's age, and then Ruth's age. So I've got C plus, C plus 4, plus 3C plus 12. So now I've only got one unknown in one equation. Now I know I can solve it. So 56 on the left-hand side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5C plus 4 plus 12 is 16. Remember, it's a non-calculator paper. So now I'm going to take away 16 on both sides and divide by 5. And that way I know that Colin is 8. So Colin is 8, Dave is 4 years older, he's 12, and Ruth is 3 times as old as Dave, so Ruth is 36. And that's 20, plus 36 is 56. So the final question to actually answer the question is, work out Ruth's age, and that's one there. 36 is the final answer. A nice four-mark question there, which go through it once more. I've turned all this... Literacy, all this so words, information, into algebra using equations and uh, variables. I've then replaced the D and the R in terms of C. So I have one equation and one unknown. And then I simplify collecting like terms and solve for C. And there we go. That's four marks there for question two added to the two marks for question one. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share and good luck for your exams.